Hi everybody! Sorry it's been a little while. I've been watching all your comments saying, where are you? I am here. Um, I'm here and I'm here for at least 21 days. I have been on the road non-stop, but I am now grounded in Halifax for the next 21 days. So there'll be lots of videos. I'll try to squeeze as many in as I can while I'm home. And today, of course, is March empties. And as you know, my empties are always massive, so I'm just going to get started. I'll probably do half this bag, and then in a couple of days when it's April, I'll do a video called April Empties to finish off the bag, because I haven't actually emptied the bag in months. This thing up is a soap. This is the Belgian Chocolate Soap Bar in Margarita Bloom, and uh, it's a bar of soap that looks like a chunk of chocolate and smells like a chunk of chocolate and is very creamy and lovely and I actually got this at Pretty Things Boutique which is no longer open but um, lovely handmade soap. Some lashes and these are no cheap lashes these are the Makeup Forever lashes and they were just really um, very conservative uh, low-key lashes which is unusual for me I don't usually buy the Makeup Forever brand when I'm just looking for regular old lashes because they're about 24 bucks a pair so usually when I'm buying Makeup Forever it's the big feathery uh, monster lashes but it's been um, they were lovely I love them. this is an Encoco kit that I bought together it is um, cranberry glaze with poker face chevron tips so if you look on um, Instagram, it was almost a, a glazed looking bright red with tips that were hearts and clubs and, you know, card symbols. Never an empties without Denise and I using tons of hand soap. This one was pumpkin pecan waffles. Made me hungry every time I wash my hands. This we also used as a hand soap. It's the uh, Body Shop Strawberry Shower Gel. And using this made me live in hope that summer may someday come. It is today, March 29th. And um, we had snow again last night. Snowstorms every two days here in Halifax. But all the Body Shop Shower Gels I absolutely love. Body Shop Body Butter. This one is in Honey, which is a relatively new one for them. And... Um, Oh, smells great and really nice and moisturizing as well. Of course, we went through some candles. This one is Bellini Cafe. Some of these are older. I bought them last year, but I'm trying to burn up all the candles that I have in stock before we move so that I'm not moving candles. Uh, this one is called The Italian Love of Life. It's captured in a blend of sparkling berries, juicy apple, and sugared grape notes. Bellissimo! So you have to say Bellissimo that way. Another one that was older but really a goodie. This is the Cranberry Pear Bellini. Bubbly and delicious. A bright blend of sparkling cranberry, sweet pear, nectar, and luscious black currant. Cheers. You know, this one's from last year because it actually says Wild Poppies 2014. Some say French farmers plant fields of poppies simply for their beauty. This lovely blend of poppy, juicy pear, and sparkling lemon is a tribute to the breathtaking views of endless red petals. How dramatic. Oh, this one was really good. Um, it is called, just called Dolce. They describe it as an irresistible Italian treat is captured in a delicately fragrant blend of pure vanilla, pure vanilla bean, rich caramel, and fresh cream. And it does smell like a really sweet, delicious coffee treat. I used up one of these. This is, I think, my third bottle of this. This is the Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Mist. And I do love it. It's probably one of my favorite of the makeup setting mists that are out there. This was an Encoco for Valentine's Day called Blowing Kisses. Used up a pair of these red cherry lashes. I love red cherry lashes. Hard for me to find them in Halifax. Another hand soap. This one in Pumpkin Cupcake. Another candle from last fall. This one's called Sweater Weather, but I just burned it this winter. And this one is a Canadian candle I bought in the store. So it doesn't describe it underneath, but it smells very much like autumn, kind of like the leaves candle. Another hand soap. This one is Pumpkin Spice Latte. All these hand soaps, by the way, are from Bath & Body Works, the, uh, with the exception of the Body Shop ones. This is a cult classic in the world and a cult classic in our house. This is the Elizabeth Arden New York 8-Hour Cream, the original. Um, I use this on my elbows, my knees, my heels. Denise uses it on her lips, her hands, you name it. We always have a couple of tubes of this going in the house. Another pair of lashes. These are the Quo 804s, Mama's favorite. And here I have a bunch more Vincocos. This was Luck of the Irish for Valentine's Day. 
Kiss Me I'm Irish for Valentine's Day and Emerald Isle. All of these were Valentine's Day. You can go to my Instagram if you want to see what they look like. I, we used up this Aveeno um, Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion and suddenly, like, this is what I've used to heal my tattoos forever, but suddenly I feel a special affinity to this after having interviewed Jennifer Aniston, who every time I see her in a magazine, I'm like, oh look, it's my friend Jennifer Aniston. So of course she's the spokesperson for this, which made me feel extra special moisturized. Oh, this was lovely. This is one of those new argan oil products from the body shop. It's the Wild Argan Oil Bubbling Bath with Community Fair Trade Argan Oil from Morocco. What a beautiful scent and it bubbled up really nice in the tub. And of course I haven't done an empties in over a month so I've got some of my winter holiday scents that we've used up. This was the Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel along with the winter candy apple uh, triple what is this called triple moisture body cream now this one was actually from last year i think and this one was from this year which is why the patterns are different on them but both of them a lovely scent that bath and body works comes out with at christmas you'll see it again next holiday season i used up one of these sleeves of life brand cosmetic pads these are just the plain round cosmetic pads i've been buying the plain old life brand cosmetic pads like these forever and then Lindsay from Lindsay Does Nails had to go and talk about those super soft pads that Shiseido does. But in the same breath, she talked about how the Life Brand version of them um, are just as soft. So I went and bought a pack. Whoa, they're amazing. So I'm using up the rest of these and then I'm switching over. But I won't go to the really expensive Shiseido. I will do the Life Brand version. But they are super, super soft. So much more gentle on the eyes than these. But I think I have about two sleeves of these left I have to use. So sad to come to the end of this, although I already have another one that I bought on deck. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Balancing Foundation with SPF 15. For me to use up an entire foundation, you know it has to be good. I love this winter, summer, spring, and fall. It's got great coverage because you know I really like a full coverage foundation, but it goes on smooth. It's easy to apply. It blends easy. You can apply it with a brush, your hands, a sponge. Doesn't matter how you put it on. It's going to go on wonderfully. And uh, like I said, I have a whole drawer full of foundations, but when this was coming to the bottom, I got myself a backup. And to go along with that, this uh, concealer has also come to the end. I love it. I use them together. This is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I use it in the color medium. And it's a very thick concealer, but boy oh boy, it covers. This is a Neutrogena body oil. Uh, it looks all funky because it's oily. A sheer moisturizing experience sesame formula. I have been using this body oil on and off since I was about 15, since I got my first job at Shoppers Drug Mart in my hometown of Dalhousie, New Brunswick. Um, I'm using right now the beautiful L'Occitane um, almond body oil. It comes in a spray bottle. It's gorgeous, but it's like 50 or 60 bucks and I'm five foot ten, many, many pounds. So after a bath, when I oil, or Denise oils me on special occasions, um, but that's a movie for another channel, um, it takes a lot of oil. So to use the L'Occitane all the time is just too expensive. So I like to move those fancy oils in and out as a treat, but this is a great fallback standard. I think these are seven or eight bucks at Shoppers Drug Mart and you get 250 mils so it lasts a good long time and what a beautiful scent it has. And if you just put a little bit, like I usually go overboard with it because it's after I've flown when I'm really dehydrated, but if you have your skin just a tiny bit damp and you just put a little bit of this over your skin, oh my god it drinks in, it's so beautiful. And it gives you that J-Lo glow. This is the third one of these small sample size. I've never bought the full size because I've always managed to get them as a beauty deal on Sephora. It's my favorite CC cream. It's the Peter Thomas Roth CC cream broad spectrum SPF 30 complexion corrector. The friggin' name takes up the whole tube. I wear it in light to medium. It's a fantastic CC cream. Great coverage, good moisture, really easy to apply. Quite often on like no makeup days, I will just smear some of this on. We used up one of these. These are always in our car. Denise has a little container so they hang right off our um, signal light indicator. This is the pocket back from Bath & Body Works in salted caramel. Smells good. I love these. It is not practical to use these like every time I remove my nail polish because it would be too expensive because you only get 20 wipes 
in this little packet, but these are small little cotton pads that are pre-soaked with nail polish remover, but it's nail polish remover that is very, very oily. So as you're taking off your nail polish, your cuticles are actually getting really oiled and your nails, so it doesn't leave them all dry. Um, it's called the Josie Marin Bare Naked Nail Wipes 3-in-1 Polish Remover Cuticle and Nail Treatment. And this one was in the scent Natural Lavender Mist. These are amazing. What I usually save them for is when I'm traveling. Because, of course, this can't spill in my luggage, which has happened before. Disastrous. Used up this small sample of the Josie Marin Argan Oil. Um, they say you can use this on face and hair, but she makes one specifically for the hair. So I just use this on the face. Really, really enjoyed it. We used up a big jumbo body butter. This is the coconut body butter. Um, and every now and then, um, Body Shop has a sale on these where they go 50%. So you get one this size for $15. Um, and it has 400 milliliters in it, 384 grams. So it's really, really a great deal. I wait for those sales to buy these and to buy the big jumbo uh, shower gels, which we use as hand cream. Oh, these came out limited edition at the holiday days so nummy that's the chapstick and this one is in the candy cane scent and oh, it smells just like candy cane lovely on the lips there's a couple of other flavors that we're using right now that you'll see in empties coming up used up this itty bitty uh, hand cream this is the L'Occite creme de mai in fleur de cherise cherry blossom so I had a big one of these before too I really like their cherry scent and, but these little ones are perfect for in my cosmetic bags that I carry in my purse. Because you know, you have a big tube of, of uh, lotion. So every time I get those, I tuck them in my drawer and I just rotate them through my, my in-purse cosmetic bag. Used up this, which is fantastic. This is a deluxe size sample of the Tarte Gifted Mascara. It comes in this cool uh, container that looks like wood. I think they are, there is some bamboo. It's one of those really tightly wound brushes. And I actually have this in large because I really enjoyed it. But if I'm to be honest, I've never met a tart. I, I um, I've never met a tart mascara that I don't love. And if you ask me to try to pick my favorite, I would have a hard time among those. Although I'm, I've got a few out right now that I'm using that you'll see in my favorites. Um, but if you're looking for something that is more natural, because Tarte products are more natural, this is a lovely mascara. This was a meh mascara. I got it in a Lulu box. It's uh, from Model Co. and it's Power Lash Black Mascara. The tube's cute, pink, thick wand. Um, but it wasn't horrible mascara. It was just like, it's all right. I wouldn't go seeking it out, but it was all right. This is a little travel size of Bioderma. I'd like to say I used it up, but I did not use it up. It has this wonderful seal really tight top. And on a long trip, when I was packing to come home, for some reason, I just did this. And I didn't. And it was to about here. And when we got home, Denise was like, what happened? Did they drop your bag in the water? Because everything in my bag was wet. Thankfully, this stuff isn't harmful, so I could dry everything out. But it was a bummer because I love these little miniature sizes. But I have another one in my travel kit right now. Used up this cute little mini bob. This is the uh, X... Formula X for Sephora Nail Cleanser. I actually have this in large, so it was no surprise that I used up this small one so quick. You just put this on your nails after you're like, you know, you've, you've moisturized your cuticles and everything, you're ready to paint. You put it on your nails and it just makes sure that there's nothing left on your nails, no um, oily residue or debris or whatever, and it makes your polish go on so much better. Got a little sample size shampoo and conditioner again. A product co-owned by my friend Jennifer Aniston, which I was so bummed that I forgot to tell her when I interviewed her that Living Proof is the bomb.com. Um, it is expensive stuff, but let me tell you, if you are hair handicapped like I am, you know, I do a pretty good job at my makeup, but any days that you see my hair looking good, guaranteed I was to the hairdresser that day, which by the way, you'll see I've got a bunch of gray roots. Um, I have been on the road constantly and have been just using box things to cover my roots, which is not my favorite way of looking after my hair. I like to go to my man, Nathan. Um, but now that I'm home for 20 days, I'm giving my hair a little rest. So you are going to see gray roots in these videos. But then on the 18th of April, I finally have an appointment with Nathan to get a trim. I think I'm going to put more layers in and I'll get all my gray covered at that point. So you'll have to live with my gray roots until then. 
Alas, I digress. We were talking about these little goodies. These are obviously the small travel size versions, but you get quite a few um, shampoos out of this because you don't need a lot of the stuff. It's the Living Proof Full Shampoo and Full Conditioner. The body boosting, uh, gently detangling, and color safe and sulfate free on the shampoo. It is wonderful stuff. Like Living Proof products are amazing. Crazy expensive, but amazing. And then there's these hair care products. Eh, not so amazing. This is actually by the bomb. It's the En Route uh, shampoo and conditioner in the Keep My Color version. And I'm not going to say they were bad. It's saying it's infused with bamboo and rice protein and vitamins A, C, and E, and it's sulfate free and I don't know, paraben free and all that. It was just like it was expensive, like a salon shampoo and conditioner, but I felt like the quality was just drugstore quality. So uh, the bomb has amazing cosmetics. Not so much on the hair stuff. I used up one of these makeup wipes. These are my favorite makeup wipes on the planet. These are the Ula Henriksen, the Clean Truth Cleansing Cloth in the Brightening with vitamin C and COQ10, Cleanse, Brighten, and Hydrate. Um, they have three versions of these and one of them is really, really harsh. I think maybe if you are very young with very oily skin, it might be your thing, although it might even aggravate your skin. I'm not sure who it would be great for, but these are really, really lovely. Now, I, I'm using some right now that I'll not be able to replace because one of you sent them to me from Trader Joe's, but if I could get my hand on those on a regular basis, those are the ones I'd use. However, in their absence, these are my favorite. I uh, used up one of these. These, of course, are my Wet Ones Antibacterial Hand and Face Wipes. I go through at least one of these every trip I take because I disinfect and antibacterialize everything where I'm sitting on the plane, everything in my hotel room. It's how I try to avoid getting sick, and I have a big jar of these that I keep in my makeup room. Yet another in cocoa. This one was Happy Go Lucky. It was another one of the St. Patty's Day ones. If you do follow me on Instagram and you're seeing all these um, in cocoa specific to the holiday ones, like my Valentine's ones and my St. Patrick's ones and my Easter ones, which you'll see soon, um, and you're wondering, wait a minute, I can't find those on the site. It's because I have such a huge amount of Incoco that I have backlog from previous years. So all of those St. Patrick's Day ones that I used were from last year's collection. I bought this year's, which I'll use next year. Um, but for, for Easter, this is the first time I wasn't really impressed with the Incoco Easter collection this year. So I didn't buy any and I only have one left over from last year, which I'll put on for Easter Day, which is little bunnies. So cute. This was another hand soap. This is the Twisted Peppermint Gentle Foaming Hand Soap, and it's really, really lovely. Now this is not something I would usually put in my makeup empties, but I'm putting it in because I got it from one of you. Um, I'm never sure. What's the etiquette? Can I say the name of the people that send me stuff, or is that like... I never know if you guys actually want your name set or whatever, but you know who you are. My lawyer friend from New York who sent me a huge box of Trader Joe's stuff because we don't get we don't have Trader Joe here and I'm still going through the stuff and loving it. I ration these. These are the Trader Joe's espresso pillows. Crunchy toffee espresso bits covered in dark chocolate. I seriously ration these so that they would last me a long time. So so good. If Denise and ever, Denise and I ever get to the States sometime soon, we are going to hit up a Trader Joe's and I'll probably rebuy everything you bought for us. We were still using the teas. I think we've run out of just about everything else, um, but we are still using the teas and I'm still using those beautiful face wipes you sent me. Anyway, if you're where you can get the Trader Joe's, these are a lovely 3 p.m. pickup. Little travel candles that I bring in my travel kit. This one was in Pink Petal Tea Cake. Yes, these were the ones that I found really harsh on the face. These are the Grease Relief Cleansing Claws Oil-Free Pore Refining Botanical AHAs and Eucalyptus Exfoliate, Clarify, and Refine Pores. So that's obviously not for aging skin like what I've got, but um, I think for someone in their early 20s, you might enjoy these. So sad to say goodbye. This was the Marc Jacobs uh, Blacker Mascara, which I totally love. Oh, so nice. I can't justify rebuying it because I have a whole drawer full of mascara that I haven't opened yet that I have to go through. But if you're looking for a new mascara, oh my God, you don't mind paying a little bit. This is awesome. This is from the Body Shop Easter Collection. 
Christmas collection. It's the Glazed Apple Shimmer Lotion. I love these shimmer lotions. I love how they look on my skin, but warning. If you wear them, and like you put it on your arms, and then you sit at your table, like we have a dark wood table, like the whole area where I sat got frosted, and Denise had to scrub and scrub to get it off. So that's the only thing you have to be wary of with those frosted lotions is they, at least those ones from the body shop, they leave their mark. Came to the end of this puppy. This is the Healthy Deodorant Solid Stick by La Vanilla. This was in the scent Vanilla Summer. Um, you have probably seen these before on YouTube. Here's the deal with these. It is not an antiperspirant stick. It is a deodorant stick. So as a result, it does not claim to, nor does it, stop sweating. Um, antiperspirants do that, but to do that, they have aluminum in them, which kind of block your pores. So I have been using antiperspirants my whole life, since puberty. And I've been starting to just feel a little bit like, uh, I don't know about putting aluminum under my armpits every single day if I don't need to. So because I work from home, there's lots of days where I'm not going to be out in public so it doesn't matter if I get a little bit of sweat stain on my t-shirt so what I've been doing is this on those days when I can stay at home and um, I'm not going to be out and about doing anything publicly I still use my antiperspirant stick when I'm going to be out and about um, in terms of odor killing if I take a shower in the morning and I put this on it will do me well until bedtime However, when I wake up the next morning, I have B.O. So unlike, you know, if you wear a secret antiperspirant stick and you shower one morning and you don't shower again for two days or until the next night or whatever, or even till the next morning, you're, you still smell great. Your armpits will still smell powder fresh. Um, this doesn't work that way, but it's a natural product, right? So it's doing the best it can in the time it's got. So again, I think, and again, and I'm a big woman, so I have a lot more flesh touching in the armpits, and that does make a difference to odor because odor comes when the moisture is trapped. So if you are a tiny person, this may last you longer in terms of its odor fighting protection. But either way, if you're looking for something that's a little healthier for the underarms, this is a great product. The smells are fantastic. Another hand soap, this is from the holiday season. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel gentle foaming soap i use this one every year this was a little product i got in some sample kit it's the simple eye makeup remover kind to eyes i would never go out and buy the full size i didn't find it very effective at all in getting my makeup off so i used it up in my travel kit but not something i would buy in full size got a few more candles for you this one is spiced apple toddy again from last winter celebrate with friends and enjoy this winter cocktail made from warming apple brandy spiced plum and tart cranberry it had a lovely lovely smell oh and this one was nice tuscan herbs uh, aromatic herbs from the sun-drenched soil of tuscany inspired this fragrance that blends fresh basil parsley and garden greens and it had a really fresh scent we burnt it on our kitchen table um, just really lovely but I don't think you can get that one anymore another gorgeous one harvest coffee and this one was Canadian so I didn't uh, it doesn't have the writing on it um, but it smelled like coffee beans and it was beautiful burning in the house first thing in the morning well this doesn't happen very often I came to the end of a perfume this is the Kat Von D Adora scent Again, Kat Von D did away with her perfumes, although one of you told me on Instagram that you saw a posting somewhere that she was bringing back Sinner and Saint. And as you probably know, Saint is my favorite perfume ever. I have it stockpiled, uh, but I'd be thrilled if she brought that back. This, however, is not coming back. It was a lovely, very sophisticated, very dark winter scent. Adora finally came to the end of it. I wore it two winters in a row. Last candle to show you in this one. This is the Sicilian Orange. And again, it's I bought it in the store here in Canada, so there's no description on the bottom. But it smelled like spiced oranges, basically. It had a really beautiful scent to it, and I really enjoyed the label as well. I have those little holders that you can put them in. But if I find the label really pretty, I'll just burn the candle as is. This um, was a lovely body lotion that we used called A Thousand Wishes Shea and Vitamin E Body Lotion. 
And this was part of, I think, this year's holiday collection at Bath & Body Works. And it was such a lovely holiday scent. And again, with the Vanilla Bean Noel Gentle Foaming Hand Soap, I bought a lot of these because it's one of my favorite scents uh, for the holiday season. So that is it. That brings me to the end of my March empties. I still have quite a bit of stuff in the bag. I'm going to wait a couple of days until the calendar flips over to April. Then I will film again an April empties, which will finally empty our bag for the first time. It doesn't look like there's much left there, but there's a whole bunch of small things that take a long time. This video will be, I'll be 60 by the time it's done. So thanks for your patience and waiting for me to be back on the airwaves. Denise has been, um, She's been advocating for you, telling me, I don't care how tired you are, we have to shoot. So this beautiful Monday morning, we got up and got it done for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did. Still pushed for that 5,000 subscribers, folks. Slowly, slowly limping toward it. So hopefully we get it done in the next couple of months. And uh, make sure that you leave me a comment down below. And if you are interested in what I'm wearing on my face, which is some of my new products, Denise will list what they are in that drop bar down below. So just check that out. Thanks again. See you in the next one. Bye.